everyone, I'm Lindsay and I'd like to welcome you into my closet. That's kind of weird to say on the first video, right? It is my happy, safe place in my apartment. It may seem a little weird, but I just thought I'd pick a place that makes me happy. Welcome, welcome. I thought I would do my first video on favorites of the month. It is a category that I love to watch on other beauty guru channels. Some of my favorite YouTubers, Miss Glamorazzi, Emily Noel83, Leanne Says, crazy marathons on their channels. And so I've been inspired to share with you some of my favorites. Let's talk about the first category, clothing. Ugh, I love clothes. I'm addicted to shopping. If we're gonna be friends, you should know that I am crazy about shopping. It's become kind of a problem. I'm trying to be better about it. When Miss Glamorazzi recommended the pajamas at Forever 21, I had to see them for myself because I normally wear like big t-shirts and leggings to bed and I thought, you know, I could use a little variety. Variety is the spice of life, right? I have to say that I bought maybe six or seven pairs of these. The, this is like so cute. It's a tank top with a... Boston Terrier or a Bull Terrier on it and a bow tie like how cute is that and it's like super soft and the matching bottoms are shorts with the bow tie that the little pug is wearing like there may have been a day or two this month where I did not change out of these uh, I work from home so it's kind of acceptable kind of maybe just barely as far as makeup goes I have been loving the rocket by Maybelline this is a really great base, I'd call it foundation for my lashes, which are neither short nor super long, but I do love the long look of lashes, so I've been trying to find the combination that will work for me. So I'll curl my lashes, use a coat or two of the Rocket, thanks to a recommendation from Leanne Says, um, which is really great at holding in the shape or like the volume of the lash, the curl of the lash. And then once that's dry, I'll put on a coat of their real on the tips of the lashes especially and that really just gives like definition to the eyelashes that I have been loving this month and it's a really great combination that works for me. Blush is usually something like that I've not been into really but decided that since spring is here I would experiment with some colors that would be new to my collection and so I started using NYX's Rouge Cream Blush in hot pink and this is not something I would normally wear because it's like BAM like corally pink in your face like super bright hot pink like can you see that I don't know there you go <laughs> sorry um, and I've been using ELF's Small Stipple Brush to apply it, um, thanks to a recommendation from Emily Noel 83 This is like the perfect size for applying and getting a really precise application of this blush for my cheeks. Um, and it's only like three bucks, so this has really gotten me into the spirit of spring. It goes on, obviously not that bright. I will sheer it out on my cheeks, but it gives that light, fresh... Um, very appropriate spring look for as far as blush goes. Secondly, I've been using Illamasqua's powder blusher and tweak. Now, it is more of a, I don't know, this is like more pink, I guess, like a hot pink, and this is more of like a corally hot pink. And it goes on pretty similar. Oh, I just love the texture of it. It's like not chalky at all. And it is really easy to work in on the skin. Like this will last forever because I hardly use like any of it because it is such a concentrated color. But this is another great color for spring and it goes on super smooth and it's fun and it's springy. I mean, what more can a gal ask for in a blush? I ended up purchasing Marc Jacobs Genius Gel and my color is in Beige Deep. Now what I really love, oh, I can't get it to focus, I'll insert pictures. What I really love about this is the consistency of the product and how 
it just looks really great in photos. Like, it goes on, I don't know. I don't, you can't really tell. It's hard to tell in this lighting, I guess. But it's just a really great consistency that works for my skin. I have combination. I'll have some, like, normal spots of skin. And then, like, my T-zone and my nose and my chin can get kind of oily sometimes. So I feel like this formula really works for me. And I just, I love the consistency of it and the staying power. And I'll use it in conjunction with Benefit's Professional Primer. And it works all day. Okay, so makeup brushes. I know they're not the most glamorous thing to talk about. So when I bought the foundation, I needed a brush or some sort of applicator to use along with it. Now eventually I'll try the Beauty Blender, but for some reason I was drawn to the brush section at Sephora and picked up this Pro Air Brush number 55. And it gives a really light, it's a really light touch in terms of like the way, I don't know how to describe it. And that's a problem, right? Because we're trying to share tips. But it just has like a really light touch to the skin without like, you don't need, I don't feel like I have to like press really hard or anything. Um, it just gives a really light airbrushed effect to the foundation. And I highly recommend it if you prefer to use brushes to apply foundation. From Sonia Kashuk, I've really been loving her, it's very basic, it's tool, Sonia Kashuk Tools number 7 brush. It's great for working into the crease and blending things out. Um, I've really been loving Sonia Kashuk's um, brushes lately, so check this out. Now, I am normally just like a black eyeliner kind of gal. I don't really explore too many different colors, but Emily Noel83 was talking about NYX products when, in one of her videos, and I thought I would try these um, NYX pencils, and they are eyeliner, and one's in tropical green, and the other is in purple blaze. They are great colors like they go on super like smooth like I'm gonna let's see show you how like it's so easy to put on it goes on super smooth they glide right on and they're so pretty like look at how can you see that look at how appropriate that is for spring I think I don't know it's just me maybe it's just me but I've been using it on my lower lid line and you really can't tell unless you're like super looking hard but I think personally it's just kind of fun to know like hey I'm wearing green eyeliner today like that's cool I'm a nerd that's pretty nerdy huh I have been loving this color called Beso in Stila's stay all day liquid lipstick it is the one that I'm wearing on today it's just like a bright, bam, like fun red. I've been experimenting with red lipsticks, trying to figure out which works best with my skin tone because um, my parents are from the Philippines. I was born here in California, but um, you know, we have darker skin tones and it's not that easy. I don't know, for some reason I have a hard time really finding colors that work well with my skin. I have pigmented lips, so there's this one blog that I've been reading like forever called Atlantic Pacific and I'll see her use um, Stila's Beso and I thought you know what we're not the same skin tone but I really love the look in all of her photographs whenever she uses it so I thought I'd try myself it was about maybe 17 or 20 bucks at Sephora um, and it's just really fun. I'm not quite that brave to wear it out during the day, but if I'm working from home, I'll put it on and it's just kind of like a fun little thing that I'll wear around the apartment while, while I'm writing. So there we go. It's a little hard to apply and I'm still working on the application part of it because red, like dark lipstick is just really, I struggle. Do you struggle? Do you struggle with 
applying dark lipstick, I do. So if you have any tips, let me know. I would really love that. I just love warm scents. So when I came across Baltic Amber by Voluspa, am I saying it correctly? Voluspa? Um, this was just right up my alley. It's got amber resin, sandalwood, and vanilla orchid in it. It lasts 100 hours. So this has been burning in our apartment for about a month now, and I can't get enough of it. I might transition into probably like a lighter scent when th once this runs out because it is spring, but this is ni a nice, like warm, very like wintry kind of scent to get nice and cozy in. So love this scent. The other one that I purchased is Volispa's Santiago Huckleberry, and I got like a really small container of it. I think, I don't know how many hours this will last. Does it say? It doesn't say like the other one does, but this was much cheaper. It was like $10. The other one was like 26 but I mean if you're using it all month like that's a pretty good investment I think in a candle and once it runs out you like you can you have this awesome cute little container that you can use to store things in but uh this one is more of like ha ah, it's still got like a warm but it's like a lot lighter kind of a scent to it I can't really read anything on the bottom but I can just say that it's very like it's like fruity, it's more of like fruity than floral, but it's like a fruity warm kind of a scent. And this has been sitting on my vanity, so when I am putting on my makeup or fixing my hair in the morning or right before I'm going out, I'll light this candle and it's a really good way for me to just kind of like calm down. Because usually like I find myself in a rush before I'm heading out the door and um, it's just a good way of like slowing me down and I'm less likely to like mess up my eyeliner or that sort of thing. if. I'm nice and calm. So I highly recommend, you know, put a put a scent, put a candle on your vanity as you're getting ready and, and see how it changes your life. <laughs> About interesting reads, shall we? Um I love The New Yorker. This is a magazine I get every week, and I may not have time to read it every week, but it's just a comfort to know that it's there if I want something good and hearty and interesting uh to read during the week. And this week's issue includes an interview with Svetlana, I'm going to butcher her last name, but it's Aluluieva, and it's actually Stalin's daughter. Really great, fantastic, informative piece about the life of Svetlana when she came to the States in the late 60s, and how she lived her life with, I guess she... She just, she had lots of twists and turns living here. If you are interested in history, if you're interested in people, if you're interested in really awesome reads, I would highly suggest, um, what's it, what's Nicholas Thompson's piece on, um, Svetlana. It's called My Friend Stalin's Daughter in the March 31st issue of The New Yorker. Alright, so that about wraps up my March favorites. I hope it is alright for a first video. If it's not, please be kind in the comments. Leave comments. Would love to hear from you. Would love to hear. Um, send me your links to your March favorites. I love watching YouTube videos, as you know, from my intro. So, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching! Woo, I just finished my first YouTube video.